Nav also allows you to print vendor 1099 information reports. To do this, first you're going to need to set up the vendor. So we're going to click on Departments, Financial Management, Payables, and Vendors. And let's choose our London Postmaster vendor here. I'm going to double click to open the vendor card, and if we scroll down, you can see these two fields right here under the Payments Fast tab. The IRS 1099 code field and the Federal ID number field. And this is where you're going to enter the vendor's 1099 information. Once these fields have been set up, all invoices and purchase orders will default based on the setup in these two fields. So if I click OK and close out of this page, let me go to Purchase Invoices. And let's create a new purchase invoice for our London Postmaster. So I'm going to enter vendor number 10,000. And if I enter an item, let's say I want to purchase a bicycle. If we scroll on over, you can see that the IRS 1099 liable field has automatically been checked on the line. And this is going to default based on the setup that we saw back on our London Postmaster vendor card. I'm going to click OK to close out of this. Now the important thing to keep in mind is that just creating or posting a purchase invoice or a purchase order is not going to be enough. The information that prints on your vendor 1099 reports is only going to include amounts that were actually paid. So you're going to have to issue a payment for these invoices and purchase orders as well. If we go back to our payables page and we scroll down under the report section, you're going to see a selection of vendor 1099 reports here. Let's run our vendor 1099 information report. So if I click preview, this report is going to allow you to review all 1099 transactions that were paid during the specified period. At the end of the year, you can print this information actually on a pre-printed form. So if we go back, you're also going to find additional vendor 1099 documents listed here. And the information that prints on these reports is going to default based on a setup table. So. Let's go to the 1099 forms boxes table. And this is going to dictate what prints on the forms that we just saw. So we have the div codes that print on the dividends report, the interest codes that print on our interest report, and the miscellaneous codes that print on our miscellaneous report.